that's my mom on the left, Rose, and my Aunt Angela on the right. This is some property in Sicily that our family owned many years ago. There's a little house that existed there all the way back then. Here's a picture of my mother with her sister, Dorothy. Dorothy's on the left, my mom's on the right. Here's some more pictures of the property in Sicily. They didn't have sheep on it all the way back then. Here is a little structure that was actually there all the way back when my grandma lived there. Now here I am trying to paint that little structure with a little overhanging roof. I'm stippling on paint, trying to make the look of stucco. I guess there's a little algae on the right side there, so you've got a little more brown than you do on the left side. Putting the door in that I know my grandmother must have opened and closed and gone in through. little bit of highlight that would have come from the sun that's going to be peeking around the corner of this building. It's funny how colors are because over here on the shady side of the building it actually had a little bit of blue in the stucco whereas the right side was very warm so one side was cool and one side was warm. I guess there was more reflections on the left where the cool side was. It's important to me to get this sunshine that is coming from around the side of the building. I'm trying to fit an awful lot in a very small painting and I'm conflicted as to how much I can put in here and have it be effective. If I'm going to put the tree in, you're not going to see too much of the background, so I had to simplify it. I have to really decide what this painting is about and the painting is about the tree I was asked to paint by my cousin. This is a Mother's Day gift for my Aunt Angela. And I am trying to replicate this tree the best I can. I don't have great pictures of it. Don't have complete pictures of the building either. I digitally drew the tree and kind of laid out how I wanted to make this painting. I even put it on a little piece of plexiglass so I could lay it up against my small canvas. This is just a little eight by 10 canvas, just to see what it would look like and how it would fit on it. I was originally going to put those cactus in the back because they're in the original painting, but it was just too much in one painting. Even though the tree was completely barren, she asked me to put a few leaves on it and a little bit of the pecan fruit I decided that the light had to be featured silhouetting the tree.
Here's another little picture I did of that same trip of the basket weaver. I believe this was in Medico. And this is a painting of my grandfather's home that he was born in, all the way down there by the red pipes. That's the door leading to his house. My cousin Craig gave me permission to paint this. It comes from a picture that he took in Italy as well. I added the kitties to it because there's cats everywhere in Italy. There's five in that painting. Now I'm gonna take a small break, eat my veggie burger. Morningside veggie burgers are very tasty. I make them even better by adding a bunch of yummy stuff to them. Now I'm ready to get back to my painting. As is often the problem with me, I have the painting finished, but yet here I am looking at this color of the tree, the little bit of the true color that comes between the reflection and the highlight. And I'm feeling it's a little too pink. It's an orangey pink and I really want it more of just an, a yellow. Because this tree is a funny kind of a yellow. So I'm messing with it again as usual. Now it's silhouetted against this sundown with the light reflecting harshly against it. So basically, I don't really want you to see a whole bunch of color in the tree. I want it to kind of look like it's a silhouette backdrop. Sometimes I just like to put little colors in just for no reason whatsoever. Especially little purples and little oranges, they sort of add to the painting. Where you put color in one place, you should try to put it someplace else so that the painting is cohesive. Remember, the last thing you paint is the first thing people see. Don't stick a little crappy thing in there if you don't really want it in there, like I just did. Well done.